to uh, play with this guitar a little bit more so this is the uh, Fame Forum 4 with the Pulsar Bridge and Simo Dunk pickups and today we're checking out how it sounds with the new XMG30 this guitar is uh, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful guitars ever made. Like, uh, yeah, if it was a woman, it would look very close to Tatiana Ohm. And um, it's called Fame Forum. For those of you who are from Germany or maybe the German-speaking countries, you know that uh, Fame is the, uh, the house brand, uh, guitar brand of the Cologne Music Store, which is a uh, very big uh, music shop uh, in Europe. It's located in Cologne, of course, but I think also they're shipping worldwide, of course, and uh, they have maybe another shop in London. And um, yeah, they're selling these guitars. Unfortunately, not this color anymore, which is, in my opinion, the most beautiful color in the world. Um, the guitar is 24 frets, no stainless steel like the Harley Bentons, unfortunately, but um, yeah, you have to deal with this. Other than that, the frets are fine. Um, comes with a 59 and a uh, TB4, I think, or SH4. So the Seymour Duncan pickups. Uh, you can split them here with this uh, split uh, toggle. It has a piezo or piezo bridge and a preamp so that you can get acoustic like guitar tones. And you engage this uh, piezo system by pushing this knob. And also you have a mix control here, so you can mix the magnetic and the piezo system. But I will show you the piezo system of course with clean tones. First of all I will show you some distorted tones. So this is my uh, main rhythm tone in the uh, new XMG30. It's uh, yeah, something, um, some patch where I tried to replicate the new DSP Archetype Petrucci plugin and um, yeah, of course I made a video about that, please check it out. And uh, currently I've engaged the delay, so let's disengage that. So this is a full humbucker mode. By the way, I've made a video with this guitar playing the XFX and um, and people ask me how does it sound with a more affordable unit. So this is the sound with the uh, new XMG3. Also, I think in this guitar the, uh, the Duncans fit very well. You don't have this annoying honk in the upper mids, which usually you get with this Duncan. Roll back the body. It's also usable. Um, but the Duncan as it foots, I think not the best. Roll back the volume. Because it has much mid my opinion for that dynamic thing, uh, if you like to play with the volume pod, you should get more like a PF style. And this is a split mode. I think you don't hear that much. Uh, difference with the high gain tone. But I'll show you some crunch tones uh, in a second. 
But before I will show you my lead tone, which is basically the same. Um, just with a little bit of delay. And let's pick up. to me. This is the middle position. Honestly with this sound I don't hear a difference between the neck and the middle position. And this is the split. Same sound, just with a lot more background noise and uh, yeah, a little bit less output. But what's more interesting are the crunch and clean tones. So um, here we have. Oh, sorry, this is the wrong patch. Where do we have it? Maybe um, let's stick with this preset and. Um, Let's take the Marshall or Bielof Plexi Amp. So this is a Marshall uh, 100 Plexi. Try to mix it a little bit with the, uh, the piezo. So uh, this is the uh, magnetic signal. If you blend it with the piezo, Oh, 
honestly, I've never used the piezo with the distorted tone, just with the clean tones. But I think it works uh, for some applications if you need this metallic sound in your maybe country twang or western. So uh, let's check out some cleans. Um, and here we start with the piezo system. Usually I'm using a way lighter pick. Um, Drumming. Let's engage a little bit of a chorus. Pickups, it's the uh, bridge pickup mixed with the uh, Paisa signal, 50%. And I think this is especially nice for uh, for leads, so let me engage uh, hand delay. Because we have this nice. Fed uh, lead tone is more closer to an idle string, which I personally prefer for leads over a uh, you know, guitar. If you just use the piezo, it's mixed with the uh, middle uh, position. I think you can get 
various uh, shades of this clean sound. And I personally like uh, the Pulse by itself. Strumming. And also uh, it mixed with the, uh, the full humbuckers. Especially with the bridge. It gives it this nice... Uh, So, um, one advice which I would give you is um, don't play the piezo into an electric guitar amp with distortion. It sounds like shit, even if you play, also if you play it into a clean channel. If you're going to direct to front of house with the, uh, the piezo signal, it will give you way better results. Unfortunately, this guitar is only one output, so you cannot root it separately. But what you can do is, of course, if you're using a modeling unit, you can design patches without an amp, which um, I do usually when I'm playing clean, and uh, use these patches for the Paiso system. Also, I recommend um, to use uh, to patches without an amp and cap for uh, cleans with an electric guitar with magnetic pickups. You can get great results. Please check out my video about that. I think it's called the Marty Friedman Rio Clean or something. I'm always playing uh, without using an amp and a Captain model. Just dialing in some 4K and dialing out some mids and um, playing, especially with the fusions on my electric pickup in split mode. Sounds kick ass. So maybe here it sounds also nice. Well, a little bit too. Uh, Sounds also nice, but uh, this patch is designed to the fusion, which have quite a, a little bit of a different uh, pickup pickup combination. Anyway, uh, I can recommend these guitars. I wish uh, there were more guitars coming with a Paiso system. This guitar is not cheap; it's around 1,000 euro. But uh, for that for that price, you can also get a um, get a lot for your money, especially if you have the clean tones or these hybrid light crunch tones. And uh, yeah, so if you got any questions regarding these guitars, please uh, post them in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.